the government released some stats on dog bites. Well over half of them, I believe, happened on family members. The more serious ones happen to children under 10 years old. Most dog attacks occur on children. Because, mainly because the children aren't being taught. Nobody's teaching them, nobody, I mean, I'm talking now about a, a, a mass teaching and we'll have to find out about this, but the registries, and I think I'm pretty safe if I don't mention a particular one, but large registries, a, they, in my opinion, have an obligation. Why, why does a dog bite? Sometimes they bite because they're afraid. But most of the time, he is not afraid at all. He bites because the person is afraid. Whether he or she admits it or not, the dog can smell the fear. And he starts to treat you a certain way, the person starts to act a certain way, the dog bites. Who's on that puppy there? All right. Hey, let me get you back. You know, one thing you notice about a lot of these dogs is they have strong personality, strong character, but they're such loving dogs. Good dogs to own and great dogs to have. Here at Gills International Dog Show, folks, we're here to put a little something back in the community, trying to spread the love. Make sure to keep control of your dogs at all times and keep your dogs hydrated. Our dogs are um, evaluators, judges, or looking at many things, some things you don't even think about with your dogs, but these judges are here to give a fair assessment. Thank you, thank you, Nico. He is just about a year old. Male, pit bull. You know, in addition to the dogs, you notice a wide variety of collars out here. We see choke collars, pitch collars, combat collars. We see a lot of different collars. I think all this is a testimony to the love that these owners have for their fine friends and companions. Our evaluators and judges clearly are looking at how the dog moves, the bone structure, their attentiveness, how well they follow their owner's commands. But primarily we're looking for the build and...